So finally got back from vacation. Um, actually had some time off between work. Had to go to work in about 30 minutes, but uh, finally got some car parts from uh, Japan. Uh, so I'm gonna open these up uh, on video because I'm excited. And at least let everybody else see what uh, we got going on here. So got a steering wheel um, and some LED tail lights uh, from Up Garage. If you don't know, Up Garage is in Japan. It's a it's one of those places everybody wants to go to if they're going over there for the car scene. Um, it's, I guess, just like a big, uh, if you will, pawn shop. I guess people go there and they sell their used car parts. So they just have crazy stuff. Well, I haven't been wanting to buy any more stuff for this car because it's pretty much completed. But every now and then, you know how it goes. You get online and you just see something you can't pass up. So that's kind of what happened. Uh, so I'm going to try and stay off the interwebs for a while so I don't buy anything else. But again, uh, one is a Zero Sports steering wheel, which I really wanted. And just somehow I got lucky and it came up. So I kind of just bit the bullet. A lot of folks, so, so this is going on the Legacy GT, the 2005. A lot of guys will get the, the Dan Wills, D-A-M-D, um, or the GT Spec. Uh, string wheels, I believe, they have the, like the D-shaped uh, wheels with a full um, circular wheels like the stock one, but they're a little bit smaller, I think like 358 millimeters. Zero Sports, I believe, is actually um, 350, so it's supposed to be even smaller. Now these LED tail lights, I don't know who made them. Because there's no company that actually makes LED tail lights. There's some some guys on the forums that uh, that make these, um, you know, one-offs that kind of stuff. So when I saw it, I kind of just had to go for it. I don't know what this is? This is the up garage on it. Kind of cool. So I just saw the invoice and stuff like that. Stuff I can't even read. It's all in Japanese. Yep. <clears throat> all right. So, just came all the way from Japan. As soon as I open it up, we'll see. We do have a little bit of, I don't know, hopefully that hit break. So this stuff has got to come flown over. Um, it got here pretty quick, so definitely didn't come through a boat. It's a pretty small item, so they just fly them over. Shipping was not too terrible. I would imagine just probably a hundred bucks for the part itself. Make sure this is in focus. All right. So the first one. Now, I'd already had the JDM tails for my 05, but again, I saw these, and <clears throat> I just couldn't pass it up. You know, if I don't like them, I'll be able to sell them, but it was just one of those things I had to, had to see for myself. description said genuine Subaru LED. To me that would make me think that it was sold from Subaru, but I'm pretty darn sure it wasn't. But there's a little piece that's broken. That's that little guy. So we do have some minor things. We can see that little piece is broken, but Use some super glue. That little piece, use some super glue. So the JDM tails, this isn't actually a socket. They only have uh, one side. So this would be the 
the left side, the passenger side on a JDM vehicle. Um, and they actually don't use this. When I got my JDM tails, I kind of retrofitted it to be like the USDM uh, tails so that all um, spots are being used. So um, I'll have to do a video on that. So what <clears throat> it looks like they did is I guess you can bake these as well just like headlights. You can separate the outer casing, or the, the lens here, pull it off, and then you can put your LED. So they used, I don't know if it's real carbon fiber, just to kind of black it out and give it a, a nice look. LEDs, this looks like it's placed on that carbon fiber, uh, evenly spaced out, so I don't know if it was just a strip or if they actually hand pressed them in. These bottom ones are smaller than these ones right here, and I don't know what the orientation is right now. Again, there's some Japanese writing. I don't really know. I don't know Japanese, so I don't know what it what those are. But red is usually power. Black is ground. I don't know whatever white is. I'll have to double check the manual. So let's see if I can't. Hopefully you can see that. It's a lot of glare, unfortunately. So you can see the carbon fiber. So again, I don't know who made these. But I'm very, very interested to see what they look like. I'll definitely have to do a video on that. Alright, put that one back in the box. I don't want to make this video too long. So I'll show you that one. I'll just put this one off to the side. Hopefully it's in just as good a shape as it should be. Again, this came from Up Garage. Cut this thing well. So I'm a big Zero Sports fan. Um, I mean, you've got Pairing, Cusco, um, EBO, uh, STI parts, all that kind of stuff, but I don't know why Zero Sports, uh, I'm just attracted to it, I guess, just because it's kind of a, a weird name. I don't know what the little Translation would be uh, why it's called Zero Sports. <coughs> they make pretty, pretty cool little products. You don't see a lot of people rocking Zero Sports stuff, so maybe that's what really grabs my attention. Look at my other videos to see what uh, all the other parts that I have. Right, moment of truth. Oh, that is small. It's got red stitching, which is kind of cool. It's got the uh, auto buttons. Of course, I'll be changing that out. To put the uh, the spec B audio control buttons on, so it looks just like the Momo wheel, the stock Momo wheel, except put in that light right there. It says Zero Sports on the bottom. You've got that red stitching, which a stock one, of course, wouldn't have. Other than that, I mean, it looks just like a factory wheel, except that it's smaller. So I don't know what the stock one is if. The damn wheel is 358, this one's 350. The stock one might be 360, 365. So a little bit of a little bit of wear. <clears throat> this 
supposed to be a little bit thicker rim as well. Then of course your factory airbag just plugs right into there, so no, no uh, loss of functionality for that. All right, and that is that. That's pretty sweet. I'm excited. I'll probably hopefully have that installed this weekend. But now I gotta go to work. All right. Well, thanks for uh, thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more videos.